Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ria. Today I'm gonna talk about seven signs that you're going through the wilderness season. So every believer goes through a journey of spiritual wandering, uh, feeling lost. In the Bible, when the Israelites got saved from slavery, from the bondage in Egypt, they had to go through the wilderness season before arriving to their promised land your promised land is god's promises for your life is god's purpose for your life it's the path of highest fulfillment so the wilderness symbolizes a period of growth of testing and of preparation for God's purposes. It's a season of spiritual struggle and personal struggle. It's a season of challenges and of transformation. So the reason why it's important to know what season you are in and to identify the seasons quickly to get the most out of it, to extract the lessons from it so that you can graduate to your next season without prolonging it you don't want to prolong the wilderness season because it's one of the most difficult seasons it's a period of testing of heavy heavy testing and struggle and transformation transformation comes at a price and spiritual growth comes at a price the wilderness season is a dry desert it really tests your faith now the israelites were supposed to only go through the desert for 40 days and they ended up being there for 40 years because when you're going through trials it's easy to get derailed from the road to the promised land it's easy to take other exits let's say for example your promised land is your fulfillment of your purpose and that could come through a business so let's say for example god wants you to have your business and your business is your promised land and in your promised land there is this sense of purpose of fulfillment of using your god-given talents experiences and insights for god's glory for a bigger purpose and when you're going through the wilderness it's like you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel uh, maybe your business hasn't experienced a breakthrough yet so it's really easy to take opportunities left and right and oftentimes the enemy will send counterfeit blessings when you're at the verge of a breakthrough so for example if you're about to break through in your business the enemy will send you an attractive job offer that you cannot refuse and you're gonna be tempted to give in to that because you've been thinking I've been working so hard all this time and maybe this is just not gonna work out you know so the story of how the Israelites turned the 40 days into 40 years is relatable because we are human we have doubts sometimes we take decisions out of fear so with that being said I'm gonna go over the seven signs that you are going through a wilderness season number one is feelings of isolation so during a wilderness season you experience a deep sense of loneliness and isolation and and it feels like you're in a desolate or unfamiliar place you just feel unsettled you don't feel at home even if you're not literally physically moving this could be concretely physically or it could be feelings of unsettledness you just don't feel like you are where you are supposed to be a desolate place now the purpose of this isolation and loneliness is to create space to build a stronger relationship with God so that you can hear God's voice more clearly and it's also so that you can rely on God so it is creating a space for introspection reflection reliance on God and developing a stronger relationship with God number two is struggles or challenges during the wilderness season you're going to encounter many challenges challenges it could be concrete challenges or it could also be internal challenges and struggles maybe you're struggling with spiritual warfare or your mental health or maybe struggling in a practical area of your life now these challenges and struggles are here to test your faith your character 
and your dependence on God's provision and guidance. Number three is surrendering to God. It gets you to a point where you see it very clearly how much you need God's wisdom and guidance because you feel lost. Feeling lost is recognizing the need for God's guidance. That's why the wilderness is also associated with a sense of just wandering. So it can increase your reliance on God and it can lead you to surrender your circumstance and your whole life to God. And getting to that point is not easy. <laughs> Sometimes God breaks you before he makes you. He breaks the old you, the old parts that you've put together to fit your image of what your life should look like. He breaks it down before putting the pieces back together the way that he wants it to. So it's very, very difficult to be broken down by God, but it's for a greater purpose because when he builds you back up, it's gonna be so much better. Because in the end, he's gonna build you back up to the person that he created you to be. And sometimes you have to be broken to be put back together again. Number four is spiritual growth and spiritual maturity. It's a time of refining you spiritually. So God is extracting the gold from you and you are put through the fire, through the pressure, but that is the process to extract gold. So during that time, you might have increased spiritual encounters, increased dreams and messages from God. So pay attention to that too. Number five is preparation for God's purposes for your life and preparation for your promised land for your next season. So just like Moses spent years in the wilderness before leading the Israelites and taking them out of bondage into the promised land, your wilderness season may be a time of equipping you, of preparing you, of teaching you things that are necessary for your next season. Number six is testing your faith. The wilderness season can test your faith, trust, and obedience to God. And this is the period where you are the most susceptible to feel hopeless and feel feelings of despair because your faith is being tested. So it will require you to let go of your self-reliance and surrender to God's timing and God's plan. We often easily accept that God's plans are good but sometimes God's timing is hard for us to really understand because we don't see the big picture. So it will test your faith and trust and it will require you to surrender to God's plans and timing even when it is the most difficult. And last but not least, number seven, you will experience a renewed sense of focus and perspective. Your priorities will change. So in the wilderness, you're gonna experience a shift in priorities and your perspective will change. Things that you used to consider important won't be as important to you anymore because the wilderness is a period of introspection, of re-evaluation, and you're gonna re-evaluate your values and you're gonna really get to know what's important for you according to God's will for your life. God will show it to you. The wilderness resets your focus on God because you have nothing but God to lean on during those seasons. So it is a period of renewed perspective and focus. Now it's important to remember that the wilderness is a temporary season, but you can make it go faster or you can make it go slower. Just like the Israelites turned 40 day season into a 40 year season. And a lot of us do that. I've done it many times in my life. And each time I just couldn't take it anymore. So I came up with ways to get myself out of the wilderness before it was the time. And I came up with my own plans, my own solutions to change my circumstances. But it always backfired because I was doing it by my own strength. So it was working in the beginning, but it just always left me going back to square one after a while. It didn't bear any long-term fruit. This is why Jesus says, you will know them by their fruit. 
So always evaluate the fruit of a decision. Now, I want to make it clear that not accepting being complacent is the attitude of a winner and it's actually positive but what i'm talking about here is finding solutions that are not aligned with your purpose and you know it very well so i'm not telling you to be complacent and to not take proactive measures to improve your circumstances what i'm telling you is take those proactive measures that are in alignment with your ultimate destination don't get sidetracked with temporary fixes just because you can't take it anymore and it's one of the most difficult season but trust in god always seek his guidance before taking any decisions and one thing i've learned is that when it's not crystal clear in your mind and you don't have full clarity it means that it's still not the right time to take the decision yet if you take a decision from a place of doubt and confusion it's always going to be the wrong decision because confusion comes from the enemy doesn't come from god so if you don't have clarity it means that god is telling you to wait because it's not the right time to take a decision just yet so this is how you can make your wilderness season go faster and trust that he is with you leading you to his promises to your promised land if this resonated with you let me know in the comments down below give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new i also have additional resources on my website to help prophetic people overcome spiritual warfare, overcome emotional trauma, overcome cycles of loneliness, of emotional abuse, of limiting beliefs, because prophetic people often dealt with spiritual warfare since they were children. The higher the anointing, the higher the warfare they will experience throughout their life. So I equip prophetic people to understand God's calling on their life. So I use behavioral psychology and spirituality from a biblical perspective to help you identify your triggers, your behavioral patterns, your limiting beliefs, and to help you take off those glasses of hurt from which you perceive things from a place of hurt and feeling unwanted or feeling like there's something wrong with you because prophetic people were often exposed to narcissistic people who manipulated them into believing that there was something wrong with them they gaslight you manipulate you and this causes limiting beliefs about ourselves other people relationships in general it causes unhealthy attachment styles and i take you through a step-by-step -step journey to dismantle those strongholds and i have courses that help you identify self-sabotaging pattern and the process that i take you through is designed for permanent change because i help you identify those triggers and patterns that's why it's different than just something that will make you feel good in the moment and then as soon as things get difficult you go back to square one how many times has this happened to you you make some progress in the right direction and then you go back to square one so the process is designed for permanent change and habit implementation so if this resonates with you and you feel called to begin this journey with me click the link in the description down below for these additional resources i'll see you in the next video take care